Opposition party ZAPU has announced that it was considering recalling its former members who remained in ZANU-PF after the party allegedly pulled out of the Unity Accord signed in 2008. The party is allegedly concerned that those who remained in ZANU-PF after the late ZAPU leader Dumiso Dibengwa pulled out of the Unity Accord were the reason why Gukurhundi issues have not been resolved. Around 20.000 unarmed civilians from Matabeland and parts of Midlands province were massacred during the 1980s Gukurhundi genocide. When Dibengwa pulled out in 2008, he demanded that all Zapu properties that were confiscated at the height of the genocide must be returned to the party. Last week, Zapu spokesperson Mson Blovu told Southern Eye that the party's national executive was discussing the issue of recalling its former members that are in ZANU-PF. Firstly, we would be looking at whether these people add value to Zapu. Secondly, we will also consider whether recalling them adds any strategic value to the democracy project," he said. Otherwise as Zapu, our party has severed ties permanently with the cult, ZANU-PF, masquerading as a liberation movement. Dotton Loba's statement comes soon after dethroned Ntabazanduna chief, Mlanlamingwa Felix Nduweni urged Zapu to recall all former members who remained in ZANU-PF after the pullout from the 1987 Unity Accord. The Unity Accord was signed by the late former President Robert Mugabe and the late Vice President and Zapu leader Joshua Nkomo. Ndweni advised the opposition party, now led by Sibangela's Nkomo's son, to initiate recalls of former Zapu members from ZANU-PF. Currently, the most notable senior remaining former Zapu members are Kembo Mahati, Chinga Du, Angelin Masuku, Judith Nkube and Ambrose Mutanhiri, among others. Ndweni said Zapu should seek a ban on the use of its name in the purported unity accord with a declaration that the pact no longer exists. There was the murder of over 0.20000 Ndabels, the rape of over 100.000 women and young girls, the injury and maiming of over 300.000 people, and the dislocation of over 1 million people. These are not small events, he said. For even the murder of a single individual is significant. Even the rape of one 15-year-old girl is significant. So the Unity Accord of 1987 was designed to draw a line under the 5th Brigade's operations among the Ndebel Nation. There was a power sharing of some sorts as the foundation of the amalgamation of ZANU and ZAPU. Suddenly with shock and horror, we find that ZAPU has lost the position of VP in government. Suddenly, we find that ZAPU has lost the position of home affairs. Suddenly, we find that ZAPU has lost the position of party national chair, he said. Ndweni said the death of Simon Kayamoyo worsened issues as Zapu had lost an important information portfolio. Nangagwa has removed Zapu from ZANU-PF. In short, the Unity Accord does not exist anymore. Those still in ZANU-PF claiming to be from Zapu need to leave ZANU-PF, he said, adding that they were claiming allegiance to Zapu using the party name to hold their political careers in ZANU-PF.